Hello everyone! This video is for users who are having trouble opening Microsoft Edge. If you have been using your computer and all of a sudden the browser won't open, don't panic! This video will help you fix this issue in no time. When Microsoft Edge won't open, it's a frustrating experience. Microsoft Edge is the default web browser on Windows 10 and made its way into Windows 11 as well and it's supposed to be fast and secure. But when Microsoft Edge fails to start, you may have no choice but to use another browser or troubleshoot the problem yourself. In this video, we'll show you how to fix Microsoft Edge when it doesn't open so that you can get back online quickly. What do you do if Microsoft Edge isn't working? Make sure that your browser is closed and that you have administrative rights to your device. If multiple users are logging your device, make sure Microsoft Edge is closed for all users. Then go to Start, Settings, inside Settings, select Apps, and on the list, select Microsoft Edge and then select Modify. All you have to do now is follow the on-screen indications. Another method is to restart your computer. Ok, to restart your computer, go to the Windows icon and then the power button and choose Restart. Scan your device for malware. The first thing you have to do is open your antivirus, it could be the Windows Defender or a third party antivirus, in my case it's the Avast free antivirus, all you have to do is run your antivirus, let it scan your PC for any malware or virus, after your scan see if your Microsoft Edge works properly, if not Let's go to the next step. Update third-party antivirus. If you are currently using a third-party antivirus application, it is recommended that the program be updated to avoid Microsoft Edge problems. Because most antivirus applications have different layouts and functionality, you need to find updates on your own. Most apps will alert you when a new update is available, so make sure to check often. You can also head to the official website and find any news about updates there. If you have automatic updates enabled, you are most likely on the latest version already, but you can still check for updates using the application interface. Temporarily disable your antivirus app. There are many ways of doing this, depending on which antivirus do you have. In my case, I'm using Avast, as I said before. You have to search for your antivirus, in my case it's on the bottom right corner. This is the one, right click on it, and now search for Avast Shields Control. And here you can choose any of these options. You can disable your antivirus for 10 minutes, 1 hour, until your computer is restarted or permanently. Don't worry, because if you choose any of these options after restarting your computer, you can go back as it was before. On the description of the video I'm leaving you a link to an article of our company that explains how to disable your antivirus if you don't have Avast, so check it out. Delete corrupted Microsoft Edge files. Run the Windows utility pressing Windows plus R, type in this. I'm leaving you exactly what to put in the description of the video. Select local, then select packages, and here you have to delete all the folders that are related to Microsoft Edge. Pay attention to all the folders that says Microsoft Edge. After doing this, you have to restart your PC and check if the problem is solved. Update Windows to the latest version. Click on the Windows icon in the bottom left of your screen to bring up the Start menu, choose Settings or use the Windows Plus I shortcut. Click on the Update and Security tile. This is where you can find most of your Windows update settings and choose when to receive updates. 
make sure to stay on the default Windows Update tab, click on the Check for Updates option and wait for Windows to find available updates. If you see any updates displayed, click on the View All optional updates link to see and install them. When Windows finds a new update, click on the Install option. Wait for Windows to download and apply the necessary updates. And that was it. I hope these methods work for you. If not, check the article on the description of the video. There you will find a few more methods to help you fix this issue. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. As I always say, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. To see more videos like this in the future, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.